here we are at the Hack Train 4. We have 120 participants hacking on three different trains <laughs> for 48 hours, looking at improving customer experience, operation efficiency, cyber security, rolling stock, and policy performance as well. We have one train, which is the UK train, going to Brighton, Cambridge, via the lovely people at GTR. We have another train going from London, Paris, to Frankfurt via Eurostar at DB. Then we have a third train going from London, Paris to Bordeaux via Eurostar and SNCF. We've worked um, with Hack Train before. It's a really important way and a really successful way of getting that quick buzz of innovation that we know we need to happen. Today is a profoundly important event for me and for this industry, and I want to see more of these. It's uh, an industry that needs talent. In the industry, they need green, green rules. Hack partners and events such as this challenge us in, in a constructive way to start to think different. It is having that genesis of ideas that actually makes uh, the difference and adds value. Some of our, our innovations that are currently in our uh, mobile app actually came from Hack Train. Today, 26,000 people a day push data into BusyBots to tell people about where seats are available on trains. Hack Partners, what I love about it is the passion, the energy, uh, the buzz, the buzz really, and the fact that they get everyone together at this great event. Go Hack Train! Go Hack Train! Hack Train! Go Hack Train! Let's tear out the rule book. Go Hack Train! Go Hack Train! Go Hack Train! We're off to Paris! My voice is already gone! excited to be setting a policy challenge on the first ever policy train. We're, we're setting the challenge to how we can change our processes and policies to ensure we can best work with startups and SMEs. The challenge that I've set some of the individuals here is to think about how we can continually inspect what we expect on the infrastructure. So in a diverse world of, of, of tens of thousands of digital assets, how do I know at any point in time that they are operating safely? Part of our pitch is simulating a train so we can then simulate the data coming off the train and then show the analysis we're doing. So in order to make our pitch impressive, um, I've been able to remotely control our train. If I tell it to start up with my phone and don't touch it, it will start going crazy, and then you can tell it to break, so you can simulate the gearbox feeling. So the teams are now going to be taking part in a Dragon's Den exercise with all the mentors from a range of different companies in the rail industry. They're going to be pitching what they have so far for four minutes and then they're going to have another eight minutes to be able to interact with the mentors. All the participants are settling in. They're going to now work through the night for the next kind of 11, 10, 12 hours to be able to get their products ready, the presentations ready and the reports ready as well. Our final hectic coding because yeah it's getting pretty stressful because we're trying to get everything just to work perfectly when we actually present it in front of loads of people at once and then we're going to start practicing the pitch. It has been 45 hours the teams are getting their presentations ready and their tech ready to do their pitches to the judges. Some things that will 
really translate into the marketplace. The winner of Halcyon Performance is Thor. Do this! Awesome! Uh, now I want to stop you. <laughs>